channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through the last of my summer cane reviews. Okay, so let's dig into Donzy Cane. Donzy Cane is what I like to call when it's good, it's real good. But when it's not, you just gotta let that go. Okay, so as always, I purchased two types of cane. I purchased the Donzy Gouge Shaped and Profile for $5.49 a piece, and also the Donzy Gouge for $2.99. Now I have to let you know that I have worked with Donzy Cane for the past 15 years. So unlike some of my other cane trials that I've done this summer where this is the first that I've had a lot of research into that style of cane, this cane I have a history with and a long-standing relationship to share my findings about. The overall shape of the gouge shaped and profiled cane is a Rieger 1A. The gouge comes in at about 1.25 to 1.3. Now, this is different than what Miller Marketing notes on their website, that the gouge is at 1.3 to 1.4. On my measurements, it actually came in a little bit thinner. The overall heart and profile for a reed that is about 55 millimeters in length comes in anywhere from about 82 to 87 for that heart measurement. The overall tip is also quite thick. It comes in at about 60. Now this gives a lot of scraping. And this is part of the reason that I know a lot of people shy away from using the Donzy gouge shaped and profiled. Because I have long-term experience working with Donzy cane, here are a few things with the gouge shaped and profiled to watch out for. Sometimes the shaping has little jagged edges on it especially on the tube. So you might want to take a little bit of time and sand those edges down because sometimes it's just not a smooth edge. There is some slight color variation and some of those pieces you might actually want to weed out um, or you can actually just use them to practice making reeds with. Also, take a moment and make sure that the spine is running directly down the center. If the spine is not directly down the center, this can lead to a tip opening where the widest part, the widest opening, is not directly down the center. Okay, let's go ahead and dig into the gouged cane. The gouge cane is the cane that I enjoy the most, largely because then I can make sure that the spine is in the center because I've processed it myself, and I'm also able to make sure that those edges are not going to be uh, rough. I can make sure that they are sanded and shaped properly. In essence, I can take care of the quality control. Now, I like Donzy because it gives such a warm, dark tone. On some of the pieces that I've played, it gives just that rich bassoon color and it resonates quite well. Most often it appears in my reed boxes that are known as champions. Champions mean that they are my first bassoon playing uh, for orchestra or if I'm going to be playing with piano, those are the reeds that will end up in the champions box and at least half of my reed box are Donzy. Because the cane is so good and hard, it is prone to having good, solid high notes. So um, if you're looking for um, a high note read, I would look into the Donzy. You do need to be careful that sometimes it can crack because you are working with a harder piece of cane and you might consider doing a little bit of the crosshatch scoring in order to help disperse the power of the crack so it doesn't go all the way through that first wire. Two other key factors that I suggest you uh, go ahead and watch out for are hyperpigmentation. Um, hyperpigmentation meaning that you have dark shadows that will appear when you look at the cane underneath a light. Um, and if you scrape those shadows because you believe that's a thickness, you can actually put a hole in the reed because it's not a thickness. It's just a spot where you have a darker discoloration. I will say that not all Donzy cane is hard. The best reeds that I have had that came out of it it was good hard cane, but I have had some pieces that were softer cane and I did have some of the pull and tear throughout the years just like I experienced on the glow tan. Those pieces of cane still oftentimes made good reads, but it made it harder to scrape just like the hyperpigmentation made it harder to scrape. So it's a little bit of something that you would want to watch out for. Okay guys, 
I enjoy Don Z cane, um, but I do know, and I have had already experiences with some of the other cane that I'm trying, that there are other brands out there. Um, so I hope you will stay tuned for more of my cane reviews as we venture past the summer months. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Today I have a very special treat for you. I have guest Kevin Eberly sharing his opinions as well as my opinions on the Rieger cane. Now, this is great because I know that there are more than uh, just my ideas on reed making and reed styles. $299, $549, $299, Just the gouge shaped and profiled for... Oh. Okay, so as always, I purchased two types of Don... The gouge shaped and profiled for $2.99 a piece. And also... No, that's backwards.